Mexico run 2021. Skulls down there. <laughs> maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. Hey y'all, welcome back and uh, welcome to today's video. We are in Mexico. I'm with three veterans, two civilians, and uh, we are gonna ride the Baja of California. So far, the ride this morning was pretty beautiful. We crossed some of these, you know, mountain looking. I mean, these are damn mountains. I don't care what anybody says. We crossed them coming through there. It was a beautiful ride in. We just stopped here at our first stop for the day. A little roadside attraction, there's stickers everywhere. So of course I had to set mine up. Here's one y'all haven't seen before, the K River. And then of course we put the, uh, the skull on the map. Nonetheless, I'm gonna take you in here and show you uh, what this place looks like, because it's pretty rad. Oh, you are the man, Doc. Black it is. How was the ride this morning? Beautiful. That road was amazing, and it kind of like you got to slow down a bit and just take it all in because you're freezing. So you know me with cold. <laughs> it is a little chilly out here today. All right, so we got the convenience store. Back here, you got oh, a little cafe. Look at this. A little motorcycle up there. The back bar. Wow, this place is gorgeous. Unreal. Look at all them skulls down there. I don't know exactly what's going on there. But this place is cool. This is what this trip's all about for us, these roadside stops. I hope you all enjoy them. What you got there, man? For your friend. All right, thank Video. you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, man, stopping. thank you. Okay, so today's agenda is pretty simple. It is try to knock down as many miles as we can because rain is coming into the northern part of the Baja starting tomorrow. So we want to be out of the north. We're looking at probably about 300-ish miles today. Don't know if we'll get it all down. I know, 300 miles is nothing in the States. It's a good warm-up, a good morning. But down here, 300 miles is an eight hour ride because of all the bottlenecks and the little towns. Um, and then all of our stops don't, <laughs> don't help. So definitely some beautiful riding, uh, great curves, uh, some huge mountains, valleys. It was it was pretty nice. I will say that uh, so far this is nothing like I thought it would be. I thought it'd be much more flat and deserty than so mountainous. I think we still have like 250 miles to go. <laughs> maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. Now we're gonna grab a bite to eat at the uh, Mama Espinosa's. Another really cool find. You can see that these are all the Baja places obviously from the Baja races, all the trophies, old truck parts, proud people with a lot of culture, that's for sure. stations are uh, a little bit different. All the pumping gets done by people that work at these gas stations. So you just pull up, they pump it, they figure everything out, and then you uh, get paid. So a lot of the terrain you have to navigate is like this. See where the concrete's meeting the dirt here? And these big potholes, things like this. You know, that could be your entrance and exit out of any given driveway in any given location. Add a little bit of rain to it, it becomes a pretty slick mess for these big heavy 
low street bikes, but we're all doing good. I think you just gotta be cautious. Suspension has been a big deal for these roads. This is my setup here. I've got the Legend Revo Arc uh, remote reservoir. I just dial this in right here for my adjustments. I also have another adjustment on the actual shock itself behind there. I've got also the Legends up front, which is really one of the ideal systems to have. I'm blessed because they're actually a sponsor of mine. So I get to have their equipment out here on the roads like this, but it's days like today that I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's pretty desolate for a long way. We've literally been running these canyons and the roads have actually been really good blacktop. So we've been on for, I don't know, maybe a hundred miles here. Let me try to cover the mic. Sorry if it's a little windy. You know, this is what I'm dealing with. Anyhow, you'll be in the middle of everywhere and then you'll find a little cafe <laughs> like this. Mexico run 2021. One of my favorite things is uh, checking out little local stores like this. You know, it's, it's this is true small business, right? Little family owned, living in the back, running the store out of the front. It's humble, but it's got a lot of character too. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> actually hit some of the most beautiful rock gardens I've ever seen. And every time you thought you were cresting a hill, you'd look down, think you see a city, you'd roll up on it and just be more of these huge, uh, beautiful rock gardens just littered with cactuses. What? The rocks! Oh, what a beautiful area, bro. Coming into that, it's like perfectly landscaped by God. Greatest part of the day, riding through the mountains. Um, amazing uh, views, the rocks, the cactuses, even the palm trees, it was amazing. My favorite part of the day was this lobster burrito and my new friends, the three gatos. I think the best part of the day was when we rolled up on one of those uh, checkpoints and you know they were searching cars and I was like, all right, great, the, uh, the Mexican experience. And then they passed us and told us you know, to keep on going. No, I don't think so. so. I think that was pretty cool. All in all, we fell about 100 miles is short of our uh, intended destination, but we got in before the sun set. We're gonna relax. Uh, we've got some guys with us that can't ride uh, at night. There will be no night riding for us, which is probably for the best anyhow. So we've uh, hunkered down, we found a little place here. Y'all, we need to put a fire in this pit tonight. There's absolutely zero service, so we get to uh, just enjoy each other's company for the night, unwind, and um, get back on the bikes tomorrow. There might be some whales involved in the video. I'm, my fingers are crossed. All right, y'all, remember what I always say, dream until your dreams come true. <laughs>